know lots of conservative people and Republicans. And except unless you get into sort of the Republican establishment, country club Republicans, you just don't find racism there. And you know, maybe it's because it was the party of Lincoln and it's a party that was literally founded fighting for the rights of black people when they were slaves and thereafter. That's what the Republican Party is all about. Well, I mean, look at Byrd, the, the, the Grand Dragon, and, and the Big Liberal. All the Democrats knew was racial politics. Mm -hmm. And they were losing it because of demographics. Right. So they just flipped it and. <laughs> yeah, let's use these guys. It's, it's, and they, it was, it was, you know, if it was planned out, it was a master stroke. Well, we have the L LBJ letters. It was. And Margaret Sanger before him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and LBJ is a great example because he was the guy straddling those two worlds there, you know, as a... Uh, How do you counter something that diabolical, that evil? Um, I'll tell you, I'm always afraid you're going to ask me for a solution. And, you know, the world I live in is a... a you know, I, I hate to tell you this. I mean, I'm actually a journalist. I've always been a journalist, and I always felt like my job was telling people the facts. And, and then they could decide. Yeah, but, you know, I've done this... A few times, I've written a few books where I've attempted to give people solutions. And honestly, Alex, things are so tough right now with all the things you've been talking about today and every day on the air. I mean, we are entering a, a dangerous new phase for this country from which there may be no return. And I have to tell you that there are lots of things we could do. There are lots of things we should do. There are lots of things we have to do. And we could talk for hours about that. But there's one thing we better do that's a component of all of it in terms of if we really want to solve it. And that is to embrace the creator God of this universe to repent of our sins individually and get right with God. Because without that, that's the only power. I agree. Right. No, you're right. The only, if we don't have God on our side, to make it simple, we're going to lose. And I think that's the missing dynamic that so many conservatives don't ever, you know, Republicans, whatever people who, liberty fighters, if we don't keep our eye on that ball and we are not, we don't come to God pure, you know, sanctified in the blood of Jesus Christ, then we're not going to be able to make the progress that we hope to make in the years ahead. No, you're right. We have become a decadent, wicked country, mm -hmm. and we're going to be judged. Right. I mean, this is judgment. What we're experiencing now is judgment. The beginning. For, yeah, for us, for our own sins. I'm not. I'm not pure. I'm not sitting here telling you I'm holier than thou, Alex. I'm not doing that. I'm saying, join me in repenting of sin. No, I can feel it. You're moving my heart. Yeah. In fact, I was thinking this morning. People call up, tell me how great I am, and and I don't really people with know my life, they think that's a pretty moral, nice guy, but mm -hmm. I, I, I feel evil. I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I should repent. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's that overall spirit of knowing as a nation, we need to really get ourselves straight. And another thing is that I think a lot, there's, you know, the church today out there is so corrupt. The, 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 the theology that is spread is ridiculous. I mean, repentance is not a one-time thing. You don't say, you know, uh, I accept Jesus Christ into my heart, and, and that, that, sh that changes you and forever. Repentance is a constant thing that you need to do throughout life. Look at the, you know, King David, for instance, all the things this guy did wrong, right? Why was he still a, a man after God's own heart? Because he always repented. Heinous crimes, killing people, you know, all kinds of things that he did. He was also in crises. That's, that's right. But... Uh, that's the model for us, is that it's, it's not a one-time act. Literally, every day we've got to, you know, bear our soul. Well, what's the verse in the Bible that if my people will... Second Chronicles seven fourteen. If my people, which are called by my name... That's, that he's only talking to believers here. See, I used to look at this verse and say, Alex, how are we going to get everybody in America or elsewhere to do this? That's not what it's about. It's only for believers. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, that's a key, and humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, four things that we have to do, what does he say he'll do? He'll hear our prayers. In other words, if we don't do those things, he doesn't hear our prayers. Forgive our sins and heal our land. 
Wow, that's a great prescription that God gave us. And I believe it's for us today. You know, some people say it was, that was... And our land is sick. It needs to be healed. And, and when I say I feel evil, to quantify that, I feel humble and, and dirty. Uh, I, I feel like my best works are dirty rags, quote the Bible again. Right. You know, in the presence of God's spirit, you know, I realize how broken I am. Then I see other people just running rampant in evil and using lies to manipulate and dumbing people down. I mean, that is just so evil. Right. And that's I'm, and that's precisely it. I mean, you know, like I said, if we if we did every single thing that we put down on our list, if you and I and a bunch of other people who think like us got together, we made a list of all the things we have to do to overcome the evil we see before us. It won't work unless we include that one spiritual dynamic as well. Guarantee. No, you're right. That's what it comes down to. And the judgment's only beginning. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a real feeling of dread in my spirit about what's coming. I agree with you. We'll be right back. We'll take a few uh, segments. We'll be with us till 5 after. Take a few phone calls, folks. Joseph Farah is in studio. You know about Emergency Essentials' lowest price promise. But have you heard about the one-day deals? You can save up to 70%. One-day deal emails go out every Thursday. So sign up at BePrepared.com or all month long. Save 47% on ASAP Silver Solution, 36% on the Mountain House Gourmet Entrees Combo, or 57% on freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. A chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Wide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. For a limited time, use the promo code WATER15 and get 15% off on all ProPure systems at InfoWarsStore.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com Folks, we're going to do a little bit of overdrive with Joseph Farrell, and then he's going to be on an airplane back to Virginia. We're going to go to some of your phone calls, Jeffrey and uh, Lance and uh, Felicia and Dan, Carl. Get as many as we can here today. Appreciate you holding over from the last hour. This hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. We find a lot of their specials. It's great, high-quality, storable foods, other preparedness items. It's a non-GMO, organic, and they have great customer service. Give them a call at 866-229-0927, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. And don't forget InfoWarsStore.com that supports our entire media operation and our other sponsors. Thank you all for your support and support other real media. We're not the alternative now. We are the new media. 
And I didn't even get into that, how they want to censor the Internet, all of it. But, Joseph Farah, I was bringing up to you during the break, uh, as Iraq violence grows, U.S. sends more intelligence officers, Reuters. They admittedly, under Obama, put a bunch of al-Qaeda in western Iraq to attack Syria. It's those same people that have now, with heavy weapons, come into Fallujah and other areas. And they think we're so dumb that they're doing this out in the open. I've never seen them, anybody do something this bold. And, of course, it ties into Benghazi. Why do you think this is happening? How, is this because they think we're so stupid? Well, yes. I mean, Al-Qaeda al is actually serving the interests of this establishment right now, this political establishment, whoever it is that runs this country. Uh, to a certain extent, you know, it's, it's partially true that we helped create Al-Qaeda. I mean, that's no big secret. We've talked about that, I'm sure. And then the other thing is this. Ultimately, the people in charge, this establishment, is not nearly as threatened by Al-Qaeda as they are by Alex Jones. You are the enemy. Al-Qaeda is not the enemy. Well, the White House memos show that. Al-Qaeda might be an inconvenience sometimes. It might be a pain in the neck. Uh, but they're not the enemy, and they never were. And that's the thing we have to understand. They'll use them because they're so vicious and evil. Right. I mean, seeing the atrocities they commit and the blowing up churches and eating hearts, it sounds like something out of a comic book. I mean, right. it doesn't sound real. These are truly evil people. Don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is that the, 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 the power structure in our country. No, I know. It's so amoral. They're using them. Yes. And then they can take our liberties because of the, of the threat. Right. See, I never said Al-Qaeda wasn't real and wasn't attacking people. I'm saying they're using it and letting them do what they do to enslave us. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you go to the airport, you got to go through all this song and dance, and that's just conditioning. You, do you remember? By the way, I was thinking about this just recently. How you you were a point, you know, straight on point on this issue when they started putting these new machines in, these intrusive scanners and so forth, and and it was news, and you managed to break it through, become a news story for. Well, everybody. Drudge did. We hammered it. Drudge did it, and became the number one story for about six months, off and on. And then, what's happening today? Everybody's accepted it. Everybody's marching through like good robots, uh, and you never hear any complaints about it anymore. I was talking to a guy the other day that I've known from college, and he goes, yeah, I hear your show sometimes, but not often. He goes, I, I hate those scanners like a prisoner, and they still pack you down. I go, listen, you can opt out. And he goes, no, no, you can't. Right. And he didn't believe me, and I was I like. I see very few people making an issue of it anymore when I go to the airport. And, you know, I just think th that was the purpose. This is. This is programming for people. And for a while, they quit groping the kids. Now that's back. Mm -hmm. And that's why I don't like flying with my kids, letting some weird guy grab because them. They want to grope the kids at school, so they might as well start at the airport. No, it's pure conditioning. Yeah, <laughs> it's pure conditioning. We're going to go to break and take a couple calls in this little extra uh, you know, dessert segment coming up. But in one minute, other key points for folks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Um, Key points. Uh, listen to Alex Jones. Oh, stop Support it. Support Alex Jones. Go to that store. <laughs> Whatever he asks you to do, do it. Well, the bigger thing is they do need to... People don't wake up by osmosis. They need to get the books, the films, the stuff at World Net Daily, and, and really promote what we're doing because, folks, we're in all the White House enemy lists. You know, education is a prerequisite to action and doing the right thing. Yeah, wake Absolutely. one person up a month, folks. Yeah. People are ready to hear the truth now. Mm -hmm. And then the next levels take action. Back in 70 seconds with Joseph Fair of WND.com, I'm Alex Jones. You are listening Nightly to News tonight, 7 o'clock. Visit GCNlive.com today. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans 
live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.